Uh, I need that because I'm going to get ready to go handle my business for harassment on that one today. See, what I did was I didn't call 911. I called an X4 detective. Because I need to handle this Brandon and Elb situation. And Jazzy Cherry threatening my life in driving down to Houston. So instead of me going to work, I got to go down here and talk to this detective. Thank the Lord he'll show proof that I came down to talk to him. I'll be excused from work today because ain't no bitch going to harass me and get away with it. So if y'all can send it to me, send it to me. Yeah, they did. So when nobody harassed her and she didn't need to be on social media. Yeah, she didn't need to be on social media at all. Because they weren't gonna do that but bother her. Anywhere you wanna send, I just need the link. Anywhere you wanna send it. Yeah, because all they was going to do is uh, pick at her. She ain't need to be on here going live. Can we get the four stars? Can we get the four stars? Can we run it up, Steve, and this shit alive? Hi, my name is Samantha Maria Garcia. I'm calling on app. Send me whatever you need to send me about Dale. So, come on. I, got, I don't have nothing. I got, everything is locked up in that group chat, and I don't want to be in that group chat. Listen, this nigga right here goes to court, so I need to do my big one on him for when he comes to court in Dickinson, Texas, or wherever he go to court it. I need to get him, I need to hear up and get him, so, because he got a court appearance coming up for stealing out of Walmart, and I need to get him when he come to court for harassment. And these are called obscene phone calls. When you making false calls to policemen and false calls, them are obscene phone calls. These are obscene phone calls. So I need to get all that. Shepard. Um, she, she just called me and said that she's contemplating about committing suicide. All right. Can y'all please do something about that? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bitch, you don't learn because you slow, bitch. Uh, girl, I can't go to jail for doing that shit, bitch. My mama did it when she was called to jail. She was an inmate in there, bitch. Okay? You can't go there, bitch. So get on from that, bitch. Oh, he called and told these motherfuckers I, was, I called him and told him I was suicidal in jail. I called and told him I was so where's Cole Reddy? Where's Cole Reddy? Why I ain't seen these videos? Hey long bitch, my daddy gonna get me out of jail, bitch. So get the fuck out of my bitch. You can't go to jail for doing that shit, ho. You can't go to jail for doing that shit, cause bitch, our mom was called to jail and see his what uh, was they ex boyfriend in motherfucking jail, bitch. I they can't scream for me, they got they can't scream for me, cause my shit is off, baby. I don't lie this shit off, baby. And bitch, I got money, bitch. And y'all don't know me, bitch. Y'all know ass shit name. 
y'all know my name, but bitch, y'all know where I'm, where, where I stay Thank or you. whatever, bitch. So give a fuck, bitch. Fuck code. Fuck, bitch. Everybody else been calling the jail and all that shit, bitch. I didn't say nothing about else doing it, bitch. Y'all trying to say nothing about the other people, Nas Dixon. Y'all have a motherfucking problem with it, bitch. I don't got a motherfucking car. She, what she did to China 504 is, is qualified. Me calling the jail is, bitch, and I get me locked up to see if she in there, bitch. You dumb, stupid ass. I'm trying to call you guys' location. So don't, uh, please don't, you know, don't trust her. All money ain't good money. <laughs> Big time, her husband is a dope dealer named Frenchy. <laughs> he was from the Fifth Ward. From the Fifth Ward. Frenchy from Fifth Ward. It was. And Karma be in the group chat talking to me, and this bitch was sitting up here. Hey, China Red, her husband, a big time dope dealer from, uh, from Houston, named Frenchie. He got 50 years probation. Oh, yeah, because they just caught her. Well, they just caught him to find out how much her body. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't don't trust her. That's that's not. Look, flight risk real. Like, that's the flight risk right there. Like, we, uh, we terrified. I can't even sleep at night. I'll be a character witness. You can take my number. I'll be a character witness to her. To uh, you need God. Need to, don't do the ten percent. Please don't do ten percent. I do twelve. Not do twelve. Nah, don't do twelve. Times twelve by like at least like six, seven, or something like that. I don't know who the fuck like, that, that is, like, but this, I ain't this. miss my bonding company. But I will be using this today when I go to the police station. I mean, I would try to get more. I would try to do more. The max, whatever the max is. Like that's not you know I'm I'm for real like this girl, Lord have mercy. Let me I I can send you a video and everything, but the girl. <sighs> my sister, friend, none of that. That's my perpetrator. She stalks us, harasses us, everything. It's called CPS on us. Everything, police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put her in the ankle. That, that's the look. Cause, and she don't even stay out there. Like, I don't know if she told y'all she stay out there or not, but she, still, she really stay in Houston. She don't stay out that yeah, way. Um, no, he probably already had called and told everything. You know, he always telling on folks. Dude. That's probably what that is, Pastor P. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, um, he told me that she's, from, she's not from here. What the? She's from Houston, but I told him that um, to bear her out, Ankle monitor. Yeah. Plus, the ankle monitor is 1,800, but monthly, when you say 180, but since, what are you telling me? I prefer not to take the ball. I wouldn't do it. I mean, I'm just being honest because she's uh, the dude, Keith. One thing about Keith Jones, Pastor P, he, he does. I don't know her because my Bill Bond people black. And they was my partner in jail, Bill Bond people. It's her family member, so. I don't know who this bitch is.
when everybody he will snitch when it come down to it and stuff like that. But this girl Ashley Shepard, um, that's a risk right there. Uh, okay, that's fine. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Mm -hmm. And all my my cool work doing. Cool, it's about it. New Orleans, 504-822-6201. Y'all are character witnesses. 504-822, what? We for the call that bill buns. Let them know a little something, something. Free me bell bonds, y'all, and tell them be a character witness to how that girl is. You know the haters, they over there calling right now. Call free me bail bonds, y'all. Tell them be a character witness to how that girl is. They're going to call and try to play on the phone and stuff like that. That's what they're trying to call. call and then my daughter was on the way to their, bill, to their particular bill bun. Why is she telling people my daughter on the way? Not knowing the situation or what's going on. Why is she telling them my daughter on the way? You know what I'm saying? So I need to speak to her supervisor today. <laughs> all real. It's all over social media. You that she might reconsider what the fuck they finna charge her that she finna get an ankle bracelet she told you every fucking thing boy like I didn't even know it was that easy to call and do something her sister I mean her sister her daughter she said her daughter they said that she said her daughter on the way to come bail her out uh oh make sure y'all call them I'm telling hello ma'am Angelica <laughs> Angelica. The phone busy. Yes, yeah, you have a little people's calling there right now. Oh, damn. Sound line getting kicked. Yeah, you at least need to be. Oh, she is 18. I thought she was 17. She Eb, she said everything. Uh huh. Go to, go to two real fast, come on. They don't got it that quick. Go to, come on, go to two real fast, hold on. And this bitch be talk, talking to me inside a Cammy group every day, come Give me a minute. Hello, oh, I missed everything. Yeah. What happened? Oh, she told the Jews. She told the motherfucking Jews. What'd she say? Hello, ma'am, you still there? Case is uncomfortable. Um, 
I mean, her sister, her daughter. She said her daughter, they said that she sent her daughter on the way to come bail her out. Mm -hmm. And get a bun. It don't matter. You can be bunded out. China 504 put that bitch in a choke. Hold. I don't care what nobody say, bitch. It's bad that you got bunted out in Louisiana. When you go to court, you got to travel down there. Bitch, you ain't going to be to be able to be on social media with all that bullshit out on bun. I heard that she can't. No, nah, but did the buns miss say mm -hmm. Go and abide by the rules, whore. Now, yeah. Trying to, I, yeah, that, I'm going to put Eb in jail. Same shit she was Girl, on. Girl, I ain't ruining no vibe, bitch. Y'all ain't finna troll nobody. Get out. You hoes ain't got enough money. So it doesn't matter. I'm gonna say what I want to say. Bye. Period. Whoop me about it. Shit. Whoop us, bitch. <laughs> Girl, tell my don't forget you stay by Ash. I don't stay nowhere by her. Sit down somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Brenda, you. A I cheese. don't know what Jackie said. I don't watch Jackie. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about what nobody's saying. I don't care. I forgot about her. I should have said Jackie name in there too. You don't Maybe have a life need... either because you over here with us. Get out. I need some witnesses. I, I give it a Jackie name. It's a lot more of them hoes who need to go behind that bitch. But that hoe do too much. Oh, not the lady said patient. Ooh. Ooh. They said they ain't played it. Ooh. They, when they locked up, they called, they locked, they left, they left, they left. Uh, who? Patient. Well, they wasn't lying, because I, I can go contest for that. Tell Ashley to DM me from prison in my DMs if she need me to come to court and tell them that she is a really psychopath, because I can goddamn contest for that. The bitch is fucked. Anyway, y'all, let's light our blood. Hi, Super. Hey, hey! Don't want your glass, mom. What your glass? It's fine. I gotta come party with your ass one day, cause you look like you. Hey, bitch! Why the bitch lying on everybody else? And everybody else sick and got AIDS. Girl, now they got you in jail as a patient. I won't be in there as no patient. I'm gonna be in there as a nigga who could. Went to jail as a patient. Who went to jail for harassment? Who went as a patient? Who went to jail for threatening? Aries and Nicole lied and said threatening. Nicole lied and said harassment. Brandon lied and said Frenchie from the field war. Like all these motherfuckers just. I don't know what the fuck to say. Y'all, this shit, I, I, I must got bad nerves because I instantly want to throw up. I instantly want to throw up. I instantly just want to throw the fuck up. You see me on the phone. Decent said the people I'm su I'm suicidal. I call him from jail and say I'm suicidal. I don't know if she okay or not, nah, of it. Oh, it's not finna be cause I know when I'm in jail, bitch, if you ain't calling to put money on my books or talk about how much my bill is. Bitch, I ain't really want hey. you calling me. Don't nobody want nobody calling for no... Facts. Hey. Asking is you okay and shit like that. When they up in jail, bitch. I don't even know what the fuck going on. I ain't even had enough time to look because I've been looking up everybody else's mug shots. 
in my eliminated folder on my other phone. Lee Ebony, bitch, I know you ain't motherfucking laughing. You lost your motherfucking house and you and you went to jail, bitch, looking like Eddie. Going on. Y'all know this is a crime, right? Y'all know it's okay to go and suck a thing, but to show a judge on live stream on YouTube for your benefits is a crime. Y'all know this, right? This is a whole crime, right? Y'all know this is a whole crime right here. I don't know if y'all knew that. This is a whole crime. The judge stated that if he was still on social media, which is he don't think he would, let him know. This is a whole crime right here. In my live, there is no recording going on in my live. This is live stream, which is legal, and I'm not recording anything. YouTubers, if y'all record, that is up to y'all. Charlie is not recording anything. I understand that many of you are here for the matter of Miss Ashley Shepard. The matter of Miss Ashley Shepard has already been handled. Probable cause has been found, and her total bond is $3,500. You are welcome to remain in court to watch these proceedings. That is, it is a matter of open court. So but she got bills. Oh, so she's out. To she to get the same. Yeah, thank you for your time. How she? How is that gagging us? We got the team. Right, this is what we want. For the, um, so how much does that mean? Her bond? How much does she have to pay? Talking charges. Jazzy Cherry said my mama was in jail. She was at the jail for Carlo deep with a killer to kill me. All this shit. My mama didn't even much come down to the motherfucking court. My mama didn't even much know I had court. Court don't much have a fucking parking lot. You gotta pay on the street and pay at fucking garages and walk the court. So what the fuck? A little bit most. I was crying for my life. I was snitching on Frenchie. I was snitching on Aries. Come on now, y'all, y'all horrible. Look, this don't have nothing to do with nothing, Megan. Have a good day. I'm talking about what happened while I was in jail. I'm out of jail. Ain't nothing stopping her from coming to Houston now. The way I feel, I bet you she won't catch no flight to Houston. She said it's a law going into effect. They are taking it serious. This is it's getting out of hand.
I took a picture of Eileen outside the courthouse today. Oh, Lord. Bitch, I think that's my mama yeah. for my baby prom, y'all. <laughs> it's for my it's baby for prom. <laughs> oh, bitch. In there crying. In there crying. Oh, that's a walker. Oh, shit, she was riding that bitch like a wheelchair. But why she was sitting <laughs> like this here? Oh, I had to testify, child. <laughs> Baby, you ain't think I was gonna get up in there and testify? Hello. <laughs> Did you actually think Ashley was gonna go to court and I wasn't gonna be in that motherfucking oh, zoo? Lord. Baby, I had my people out there on deck taking pictures. <laughs> I had my people on deck taking pictures. Man, this shit funny, man. Man, sometimes you gotta sell a little funny shit to keep from crying, man. Because I was at the point of crying after I just seen a couple of these videos, man. Turn off your screen recording in the settings. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. Uh, Jackie really made my day because, man, this shit I seen before this just bring tears to my eyes. I'm trying to get it. I'm gagging. I'm gagging. They got tired of me. <laughs> Bony. Rose. Oh my God, I'm doing gagging on your auntie shepherd. <laughs> and they got China red. They got China red. They got China red. Mm -hmm. They got China red. Oh my God. I would have stayed, I would have stayed, I would have stayed, but the, I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to give y'all the Facebook cam bam, the Facebook cammy, how I'm going to respond to China Red being jail. It's a music to my ear. <laughs> New Orleans always late, y'all. For real, can somebody let me know? Cause it say they started. They letting us in. We just waiting. We in the waiting room right now. We waiting for the judge. Can he see you? No, girl. Can they see you? Hell no. Would I be doing all this? I'm about to light up. Would I be doing this on camera? Like, y'all know what I'm about to do? All right. Guts, waste ass bitch, you nasty pussy bitch. You are the motherfucker SS of shrimps when you get through cleaning. You smell like shrimp heads, bitch. You nasty this. Fucking ass, bitch. I know that puts her loud through the motherfucking phone. I know Lo got sick when she talked to you, bitch. I know her sorry called burnt eyes was burning, bitch. I know everything was burning when they started talking to you. I even smelled you, and, and, and you weren't even talking to me, bitch. You, I was on the other side of the goddamn world. Puss ass, ho. You dirty ass, bitch. You deserve every goddamn.
doesn't make sense. That, that shit don't make no sense. Why would you go to jail and got that? This was fag on the flight. Nicole said, I went to jail and called the victim. This is somebody I've been with for four years. Said, I went to jail and called a victim. Steph is an enemy. She knows Steph is my enemy. She knows Steph worked with Brandon and Elb. Why are you doing this to me? You was on the phone with me while I was in jail. I called you while I was in jail. I talked to you on the phone while I was in jail. You called my daughter in text and talked to me. Or, or talked to my daughter to check on me. Well, I've been talking to her every day and she said that this wasn't true, greater, greater leader. I've been talking to her every morning, every night, every day we've been talking on the phone. And she been saying this wasn't true. The Aries had lied. Then Aries get in the motherfucking box and lie and say something about some fucking threats. Call the victim. That's just stupid. Okay, so my my baby father said, well, my husband <laughs> has said that sometimes when a person goes to jail, they might feel like they want to reach out to say, I'm sorry. So she been trying to convince me, cousin Keepers ain't said nothing bad about you. Cousin, my homegirl, she ain't said nothing bad. All through these comments, cousin Keepers say that does not that does sound stupid, but I believe it. And then she wrote stupid is stupid does, and she was like, eh, eh. and they lying on cousin. Cousin ain't said nothing bad about you. Cousin was real about you. Girl, get the fuck out of here. And I know you woke looking because it's the time we talk on the phone in the morning. Please don't go through with the charges and stuff like that. Now, let me say this. I absolutely agree with you, Steph. I believe if, if that was if if that's what happened and Ash did or had somebody reach out, it was probably awesome, you know, like, but you can't do that, though. That's the thing. You cannot. Oh, I still that. wouldn't call. Not, I wouldn't even die that number. I don't care if I want to say I'm I sorry, think bitch. Ashley's pride is too big to actually like Ashley's pride is too big to say. So self debunk it and say now nah, Ashley pride too big. Ashley ain't did that, which is I wouldn't count. First of all, in New Orleans jail, you have to put the code in on your band because they want to know every call you made because in the computer it shows them every call you're making in jail. So in order to make a call, you have to put in your inmate number, order for a call light. And when you make the call, a person have to pick up the phone, pick up their credit card, put in their credit card information and accept the phone call. That's what's so cold about the situation. You cannot make a call. Every call you make, you have to put in your inmate number. So if they look in the computer, they can see every number you calling. Aries didn't answer my call in jail when she said call her, along with other people. Nobody answered my call in jail when they gave me they gave my daughter the number to call them. My daughter gave me people number to call them because they said they would accept my call. Nobody accepted my call in motherfucking jail but my daughter. My, I paid for my own phone calls in jail. I paid for $350 worth of phone calls. I paid for my own phone calls in jail. God strike me down if I'm lying. Nobody accepted my call in jail. And I didn't call them because I, was, I needed them. I called them because they asked my daughter, tell your mama to call me. I'm going to accept her call. Nobody answered my call in jail but my daughter. I spent three hundred and fifty dollars worth of calls. My calls were ten dollars a piece because my daughter couldn't download securities so I can get the calls for cheap. I paid ten dollars a call. I paid three hundred and fifty dollars, maybe four hundred dollars worth of calls with my debit card in jail. I paid for my own calls in jail. Nobody accepted my calls in jail. Nobody accepted my calls in jail. Everybody talked to me out for my own motherfucking money. Let me say that everybody talked to me off of my money. Nobody put no money to talk to me on the phone in jail. Everybody that gave their number and said, call me. Nobody accepted my call. I pay for all my calls in jail. Every time a motherfucker wanted my baby to call them, that was on my money, that was on my debit card. And I dropped the receipt.
So, you know, because she knows she going to have the recording for Bego to be like, please, please, please. Don't. But, you know? but when you're in a situation, when you're actually in that situation, and it's been a couple days and we don't know, you know what I'm saying, her mind frame of how she's feeling or whatever. We don't know exactly what's going on. So <clears throat> when you're in that situation, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? But obviously China wasn't trying to hear that shit. Now here we go with another charge. What other charge? Where's the other fucking charge at, Nicole? Where's this other charge you putting out here? Man, why would she do that? I don't think Ashley really called the girl. I don't think she did that. Why would she that. call that girl, asking that girl to uh, do whatever? Uh-uh. No, man. I don't care if it was for apology or what. I don't think she did. Uh, she not. I don't. Ashley yeah. do some stupid shit, but she ain't. Ashley's smart when she when she wanted. She might have thought know. that was a smart move. If they said that she. Where would that come from? She called China while she was in jail. Where did that come from? Do anybody know where it actually came from? I don't, I don't know. I don't I know, know where it stemmed from. I know, like, I was looking at uh, Brandon. Somebody had shared me Brandon live. So I went over there. And then, you know, Brandon then was talking about it. But then I saw... Oh, he's Kim definitely not credible. Him and I saw, him. But here's the thing. No, they definitely I credible. Kim. I can't be no fake bitch. But they I, are definitely. How they credible, Seth? But I, how they credible? But, I, but let me say this. Then I saw King B live saying it. And then it was somebody else. So you know how shit start to get passed around. Now I don't know if they called and found out because I believe you can call and find out that me and the call talk on the phone every day, and every day we look at stuff be missing when we sit on the phone and watch lives together. Why do you have this bitch in a motherfucking box knowing she praised Brandon and Ebony talking about me? another charge or huh? if it's been I don't know I mean I don't well I know you can't go to jail for tickets bitch cause this is my first we ain't finna talk big on no more cause it ain't about big on and beans no more you little big head ass bitch it ain't about beans and big on followers and views it ain't about this it's, it came off I never had a warrant for my arrest ever in life I didn't get a warning until the hour after I made it to losing honor once Louisiana knew I was there, that's when they put a warrant for my arrest. I never in my life had a warrant for my arrest. Y'all got to remember, I just got security jobs. I had to go through federal fingerprints to get my security job. I just re-registered for my gun license. I just re-registered for my private security license. I had no warrants for my arrest at all. Nowhere, no how, no heels, no bottoms, no tops. I didn't get no warrant for my arrest until they know I made it to Louisiana. That's when they served me with two warrants for my arrest. I never beforehand had a warrant for my fucking arrest. Nowhere in Houston, nowhere. I don't know where stuff them is getting these lies from. I never in my life had a warrant for my fucking arrest. A warrant was put out once I made it to Louisiana and they knew I checked into court. That's when I got a warrant. That's when I got a arrested. And the warrant wasn't even much completed because they were still waiting on the warrants to go through. They just had me sitting there until the warrants went through. So basically, if I would if I wouldn't if I would have skipped court and wouldn't went to restraining order court, I wouldn't have had a warrant put on me. But because I made it there, I had a warrant put on me. So shit me got real. So let's talk about facts. Let's talk about why a motherfucker came on your street, on your street, and you played peekaboo. Let's talk about that. Because see, you don't know nothing about me. You going out with a win, with a win. When you, when you remember, you remember China 504 when you said, Houston will not. Get on no road and drive five hours for traffic tickets. If you in the same city, they may be, they, now Houston ain't gonna do it no way. Push, Houston can pull you over, pull you over a cow. None of y'all went on her pounder no more. That girl went right over there and said, it, said with Ashley every goddamn day. They'll see it. So yeah. ain't nothing wrong with that. Get yeah, the man house shot up. If that's Ain't true, no that's fucked that? up. Yeah, if, if that's, that's fucked fact? up, that's fucked up. Is that fact? Yeah, if that if that's mm. true, that's fucked up. 
What they have been saying it for the longest. Y'all don't know that she going. What she say? She going to go file charges in Toledo, and they ain't gonna tell you what this motherfucker do. You motherfuckers that sit around them, y'all better watch him. I think it back. I think it's backfiring. It's an, it's it's, it's back, backfiring. It's backfiring. I do. <clears throat> Y'all, y'all the one. You, 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 the the uh, detectives in the comments. The the, the y'all got the game fucked up. What what they say? Mm. Crazy. Shit, them folk down there. Them folk down there. Study calling down there. They think this good goddamn Beyonce. It's wrong. We not you know saying that ain't true, but hey, we see the shit going down like this. This shit crazy. And, and, and mm -hmm. I just wiped the comments back. Let me tell you something. Pull up a video where I was going to say I was going to harm a motherfucker with any kind of weapon. If I didn't always said I'd beat me a bitch ass. In Houston, Texas, that is not, that is not. So somewhere in the end of this Aries thing, I three, hold up. Take the fun out of shit. Motherfucker's supposed to be on here roasting, fucking, and, and left the app for not saying nothing. You know, calling family members and all that type of shit. If a motherfucker actually take their time. And Who called a family member, Nicole? What family members did I call? What the fuck is you talking about? Yeah. And poor and, and have their people. And do it how she did it. Because she did not say it. a word. No, no. She, uh, no say a word though. If, this is how this is this is how it's working with Bigo. I've been telling y'all this over and over and over. This is how it works. If it's any evidence of them going back and forth, because see, y'all gotta remember, only evidence that these people got is what you see something, baby. Don't nobody talk to me daily. I'm telling you this from my mouth. I don't trust no bitch, no nigga. Don't nobody talk to me daily. Now, Nicole been talking to me daily. Petty been talking to me daily. But nobody, but it ain't no personal shit. It's supposed to be for liftings because I was just suicidal last week. Okay? No, I don't trust her. Because when she called, it's supposed to be about my baby. And it's supposed to be about me. I didn't much know she did this. I was told... She did this, but Aries told me that, oh, she got up there and checked Nicole for talking about me and this and this, okay? So the story was told, cut off Nicole, Nicole was doing you real dirty. And, and, and I had to check Nicole for talking about you. So I charged Nicole up and cut her off. And Nicole was like, Aries a motherfucking lie. She was the one dancing out for you being locked up in jail. Along with other people. They was they started telling each other was they all told on each other, but they all said he and told some shit about me that wasn't motherfucking true. On four guys. That's it. That's it. That's it. They don't have. That's all. All they had was what five or four went in there saying. That's all they got. They don't have the threats that she made. They, they don't, don't have threats because there wasn't no threats on neither by on neither party. I didn't go to jail for threats. I didn't go to jail for threats. Have all the bullshit she didn't been in. They don't have when she just whooped the girl ass the other day, fighting the stern wheel or whatever the fuck she was doing. They don't have none of that shit. How you scared? But you have all the bullshit. On another page. Hold on. What, 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 what y'all doing? What's the name on page? Cause she got. Let me check her. <laughs> another subpoena, Bigo. You ain't got to do another. You motherfuckers that sit around them. Y'all better watch them. I think it back. I think it's backfiring. It's an, it's it's, it's back, backfiring. It's backfiring. 
I do. <clears throat> well, if if you're not gonna give it, stay out of in behind the scenes and on. Stay on out of. Stay out. Stay out of. All stay out of it. Period. If you're not gonna give it, you need to stay out it's of. It's on YouTube. Period. It's you need to stay out of everything. You need. They sitting right with a snake, Missy stuff. She sit with Brandon and Ebony every day. Aries, Cole, and others discuss. Ashley. Trying to read. And more. Big ol' lives. First of all, let me say something. I'm sick to my stomach, y'all. I'm sick to my stomach. Miss Pooh, if you want to leave, you can leave. I love you. Shout out to you. But I'm sick to my stomach. Like I said, it ain't it, it ain't the going to jail for me. It's the it's the it's the so called friends and stuff for me. So everybody was worried about my kids, but they had time to do all these motherfucking lives. Everybody want to act like they was concerned about the kids, but they had time to do these motherfucking lives about me. And go live and dance and sing. Like I said, go and put you in situations to see exactly who you need to see. You heard it from my mouth. I paid for my own phone calls in jail. Miss Pooh up in here, she'll tell you. I paid for every last one of my phone calls. Miss Pooh, I think Miss Pooh gave my baby a, some money to hit to try to help her. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, only Miss Pooh would know that. I don't remember, but I paid for every last one of my phone calls with my debit card. I spent I spend three fifty to four hundred dollars on my phone calls in jail. I paid for my phone calls myself. With my debit card. Nobody accepted my call in jail. For the numbers I, that I was told to write down, I wrote them down. Cause my daughter said, people said, call you, I'm accept they gonna they wanna talk to you. Nobody accepted my call in jail. Nobody. They picked up, but they didn't accept the calls.
Now, the first bun was $250. People did put in on it, and I will be returning that money back. But because Brandon forfeited my bun, or whoever, they called so many bell buns, they messed up my bun. They had to get, the, the, the I didn't get out of jail the first night because they kicked the, the 250 back. And they refused to give it to us. They wouldn't give it to us because people called and said so much shit about me. So they made me come up with the whole bill. So the first little 250 that people came up with the bum yacht, they did come up with. Cold Red came up with. But they kept the money. The bell buns and kept the money said my baby can't get it to, to uh Monday. So my baby went through the same bell buns and just thought maybe she put some money with it, the three thousand and something with it, she can get me out. The bell buns and kept the two fifty my daughter gave at first, and they took the whole thirty five hundred. So the bell bun owed me thirty seven fifty, or thirty seven something. Whenever, however, this case gonna go, when it's all said and done, I get thirty seven hundred back, and I will be returning everybody their money back, which is two hundred and fifty dollars, and the thirty five hundred will go in my pocket. I burn myself out of jail. I pay for my own calls. I'm paying for all my legal fees. If there's going to be some. If it's going to be legal fees, I'll be paying for my own legal fees. While I was in jail, I paid my own rent. I handle all, well, my baby handled everything. My baby went to the bank. She had to drive back to Houston, go to Bank of America, get a rent to the rent man. She had to give it, put it in his bank account. Uh, it, it was just a lot. She had to pay the light bill, the gas bill. She had to pay everything, car notes, everything. My daughter handled her business out of my bank account. And I direct her. That's why I had to make so many calls because I had to make sure this was paid, that was paid. Also, party stuff was delivered to my house and sit in my yard for two days. Because remember, I was supposed to have the color party that weekend. So the people had delivered the stuff. The man wanted his money. I had to pay the man for the uh 60 chairs and tables they brought to my house that sat out in my yard that didn't get used. I lost a lot of money on party shit too. I paid for a lot of liquor, a lot of food. I came home. I had big pots of rice, big pots of stuff, food that I had people to make for me sitting out on my counter that I had I already had to pay people for because I didn't know I was going to jail. Since I've been out, I've been suicidal. I was suicidal. I'm not anymore. I've been suicidal. My mama been sick. Not play sick, real sick. Uh, it's been other things going on in my home, and nobody have came and checked on me. Nobody pulled up to check on me. Nobody came and saw me. The only person that's been in my corner, and I hate to say it, is K Red. She have not been live on me. She have not repeated nothing that was said. And I didn't even much know because, you know, like how you don't think she must say it. Why you didn't have your daughters to call me? I was an hour away in Mississippi. I would have burned you out and I would have took them kids and put them in a the hotel. She said, why you didn't think about me? And I didn't think because we argue so much on social media. I didn't think. To call her to come an hour away and pick up my kids or stay with my kids or watch my kids. Because you know how you don't think I didn't think. But she had talked to me. She the only one that didn't say anything at all. And still talks to me. And we still get into it and she still don't go live and utter nothing of my legal business that's going on. I ask people, I don't go in people's room because I ask them, if you're going to talk about the person that have charges against me, I cannot be in your room. <clears throat> I will not be in your room. Out of respect for me, don't talk about the person that have charges against me. 
or I cannot come to your room. I don't need admin. It's been pretty good in here. Then, what I call her no names, because I know you at the window. You do all this shit to me, and then you turn around and have three motherfuckers call me and tell me you mad at me when I get out of jail. The day I get out of jail, you got three motherfuckers calling me telling me you mad at me. Because I didn't go live on the phone on your motherfucking live. You didn't need me to go live on your motherfuck on the phone on your live. Because you didn't been live all motherfucking the whole time I was in jail getting fucking views. The fuck you needed me to go live on your phone for? So my question is, is you my friend or you just my friend for social media? My daddy came and checked on me, so let me obliviate that. My friend Crystal Curry in real life been over here. Went to my son game while I was in jail and everything else. My aunties then been over here. I feel betrayed, I'm mad, I'm hurt. I'm not for the argue with no bitch. I'm not for the argue with no nickel. All I'ma say is this, what I cuss for is. Father God, thank you for revealing what I need to see. Thank you for showing me. Although it hurts like hell. To see that my closest friends, an ex I thought was a friend, include my husband. It's my ops. And I said what I said, include my husband. It's my ops. If there's anybody else that needs to be revealed that I don't know of, please continue to reveal them. With that being said, I got to go meet this detective about this harassing me in jail. And I got to get to the, do this shit before Dixon go to court in a couple of weeks. I'll talk to y'all later and God bless you all. Have a good day. And shout out to Lady B and everybody else that's been checking on me. God bless y'all. And keep praying for me. Because I'm going through, uh, uh, it, it's not it, it's not the jail. It's just, it's, it's the sin, the fake people in my life. It, it's, it's just knowing the, the shit that goes on. It's just that. And I ain't saying I'm innocent. I ain't saying I don't make phone calls. Nah, I, yeah, I, do, I do my due diligence when it come down to Trina B and shit like that. Because Trina B do what he do to people. Brandon do what he do to people. When it come to them, gloves is off. But no, it ain't that. And it ain't going to be that. But I'll talk to y'all later, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I might not much get on today, man, because I really suffer from depression. In real life, not fake life, is documented. It ain't no fake shit. I really suffer with depression and shit like that. I really got a lot of mental things going on and shit. And when I see shit like this, y'all, it really breaks me down.
I want to share some with y'all because a lot of y'all hear a lot of people lie and try to tell my story. But I want to show y'all. I had an appointment for suicide the other day. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. My doctor. Legacy Community Health. Ask the shepherd 925 to whoever this concern. This person is a patient in the clinic since 2018. She has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, and anxiety disorder. Her current medications are Paxil, B B Valera, whatever the other one, and Clorazepam. Sincerely, Jose Maria Torres. That's how long I've been with my doctor, since 2018. And before that, I was with other people longer than that, since a teenager, since an adolescent. I was with my doctor before that, and I switched doctors. Y'all have a good day. Thank y'all. I don't think I, I don't need money, I don't need nothing. All I need is prayers for strength, because I see God is revealing a lot of people to me, man. And Jazzy Cherry, all this stuff she's saying, I'm a debunk. It's all a lie.